Hi, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to revive your relationship if it's on life support. Hi there, Matt Schaefer, your connection, empowerment, and relationship coach to talk to you about a subject that comes up a lot of times in my calls with my clients. What to do if a relationship is starting to fade, if you've entered a cycle in your connection with your partner where you two are just feeling distant, things have gotten heavy, maybe you've pushed him away, you're starting to feel unsafe in the connection, so you've started to press him and he's checking out and he's disconnecting. There's so many different reasons that this could happen and we're not gonna pick apart why, right? What we're here to do is explore how to hit the reset button on your connection with your partner to give it the best chance to reactivate him and bring you two closer together again so you can give the relationship a new life. I'm looking forward to exploring this with you. Take a second, hit that subscribe button, and let's dive in. So let's start by looking at where you're at. You and your partner have gotten distant. For whatever reason, the communication between you hasn't really been working the same way. Maybe he's triggering you, maybe you're triggering him, <laughs> you're feeling unsafe, you're pressing. It can be a thousand different things. But the bottom line is there's space between you. So how do we bridge that space and how do we bring you two back into the sort of deep connection that existed when you two started dating, right? And uh, there's one powerful thing you can do. It's invite him to have an adventure with you. Because here's the thing, men are experiential, okay? So at the end of the day, if you can invite him, and I don't, I'm not saying to tell him to have an adventure with you, but if you can invite him and help him understand that it would mean a lot to you to go on an adventure with you, then you're gonna give him the space to create an experience with you that's gonna give you guys a chance to reconnect. Because once it gets to a point where there's a ton of space and a ton of issues between the two of you, a lot of times talking it out for a man can feel heavy, can feel intimidating, and can sometimes make the divide worse. So what would an adventure look like that you and your partner could go on that would be fun, that would be engaging, and that would give you guys a chance to connect in a different container than maybe the shared living space that you have or the traditional dates that you've both gotten bored of? Look at this and what would be an unusual an adventure, a pattern interrupt that would give you to a shared experience to hit the reset button in your relationship. Maybe it's going to some game lounge and playing video games and doing something that's totally uncharacteristic that you would ever do, something that allows you two to play. Maybe it's going camping. You could go to a music festival together or a street fair. It doesn't have to be a traditional date. In fact, sometimes the less traditional and the less of a standard experience you can have, the better. But make it something that gives you guys both a chance to get out of your heads, into your bodies, connect, maybe team up with each other, right? Something where you guys can work together. An escape room is a fun thing to do. Be creative and knowing what he's into and what you're into, come up with a fun, exciting, interruptive experience that you two can share together. Because at the end of the day, while women are very verbal in their feelings and in talking about you know connection and relationship and community, communication. A lot of times for men, that can be very overwhelming to them, especially if they're feeling a lot of distance. Maybe they've got some guilt or they're carrying a lot of heavy emotions towards you. Hit the reset button by inviting him to plan an experience with you, come up with something together and get out there and play and have an adventure and hit the reset button on your connection with him and then see how things feel after that. After that, he might be in a better space to reconnect with you in a, in a dialogue about whatever had come up and whatever had created that space between you. So I hope that landed with you. If it did, take a second, hit that little subscribe button, hit the like button, and I will see you next time on my YouTube channel. Bye-bye.